Hello, my name is Aaron Petretsky. I'm a minimally invasive urologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today we'll be discussing the clinical scenario of an elevated PSA. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Many men, particularly those as ages 55 to 69, may undergo routine PSA screening after having a discussion with either their primary care doctor or a urologist about the relative risks and benefits for them. PSA is a protein that is made by the prostate and may be elevated under a number of clinical scenarios. Prostate cancer is just one of them. There are normal values of PSA for each age group of men. If a man has an elevated PSA, a physician will counsel the patient about some of the potential options to further evaluate this PSA. Some of the potential options for the next step after an elevated PSA is detected are listed here. The most simple is to recheck a PSA. There are certainly cases where a PSA may be spuriously elevated. Another option is to use one of the complementary or adjunct tests for PSA. There are a number of these tests. The most often used perhaps is free PSA. There are new and emerging biomarker tests which can also be helpful in some clinical scenarios. Finally, a urologist or a primary care doctor may recommend a prostate MRI. In the setting where we believe that an elevated PSA is a true value, we very often recommend an MRI. A prostate MRI is generally safe and delivers no radiation to a patient. If a radiologist interprets an MRI as not having any areas of the prostate that are concerning, there is a very high chance that that person will not have clinically significant prostate cancer. We estimate these chances to be approximately 85 to 95%. If the radiologist identifies a spot that is worrisome for prostate cancer on the MRI, a biopsy may be recommended. These MRI images can then be fused with a real-time ultrasound in order to target this specific area of concern on a prostate biopsy. We generally recommend that men ages 55 to 69 undergo routine PSA screening for prostate cancer. At minimum, a patient should have an informed discussion with their provider about the risks and benefits of prostate cancer screening. Of course, men who are at higher risk for prostate cancer should also consider more aggressive screening and at younger ages. Men who are ages 70 and older should undergo a thorough discussion with their provider about the risks and benefits of prostate cancer in their life.